In this video, I want to go over the duplicate encoder problem on Code Wars. And what it states is the goal of this exercise is to convert a string to a new string where each character in the new string has an opening curly brace if that character appears only once in the original string, or a closing curly brace if that a character appears more than once in the original string. So ignore capitalization when determining if the character is a duplicate. Now, if we look at the examples over here, here's the string that they provide us as input. What we need to do is to append an opening curly brace if each if the character in question appears only once and a closing curly brace if it appears more than once. So D, I, N all appear once. There will be three opening curly bra braces. R appears once in this string. E appears three times, so that's more than once, so we'll have a closing curly bracket. Uh, C appears once, so opening. E appears uh, three times and so on and so forth. You understand what I'm getting at. So the way we're going to solve this is we are first, since we have to ignore um, capitalization, we're first going to convert this word into a word of lower or a string of lowercase letters. So we're just going to say word is equal to word dot lower. From here, what we want to do is we need to create a string, and this is going to be the string that is going to be returned at the end of this function. So string is equal to empty string. We're all we're also going to create a dictionary, so D-I-C-T is equal to empty dictionary. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to iterate throughout every letter in this word. For each letter, we're going to find the count and make it a series of key value pairs. Each letter will be the key, the value of each key will be the frequency of that character in our string. And the way we can do this is we're going to iterate throughout the word, so for I and word, what we're going to do is we're going to set the dictionary, so dict of i is equal to dict dot get i comma zero plus one. And the way this dict or get method works for dictionaries is we're setting this. So say i is for the very first iteration d. Well, this will be dict of d or the key, the first key value pair we're setting. So dict of D is equal to dict dot get I, well I is D. What it does is it checks our dictionary and checks to see the value of that key. Well, since dict or D does not exist in our dictionary, what we're going to do is not return this, we're going to return zero. Then we're gonna add one to it. So for the very first iteration, this will be dict of D is equal to one, and D one will be the first key value pair in our dictionary. If we ever come back to D again, what it will do is it will get I, I will just be the value of D, which will be one, and then add one to it, and then it will look like dict of D two. So that, that's what we're doing. We're just getting the frequency of every letter in our string and then storing it in a dictionary. Now that we have the frequency, we're gonna iterate throughout the word again, and we're going to check the frequency of every letter in our word. If it is, um, greater than one, we're going to append a closing parenthesis. However, on the other hand, if it's one or less, or just one, we're going to um, append a opening curly parenthesis. So for I in word, sorry, I messed that one up, for I in word, what we're going to do is we're going to say if dict of I, and all this is doing is this getting the value of our current letter in our word, the value will be the frequency of each letter. And if that value is greater than one, what we're going to do is we're going to append to our string or concatenate to our string an opening or a closing curly bracket. However, on the other hand, if it's greater than one, so we can just say else, uh, greater than, yeah, so if it's two or more, what we're going to do is concatenate a opening curly bracket. Parenthesis, I mean. Okay, and at the end of all this, we've iterated throughout every word and appended to our string the necessary parentheses. What we're going to do is return at the end of this st, or our string. If we attempt this and look at this, it should work so all 48 test cases passed. That was the duplicate encoder problem on Code Wars. I hope that this video was helpful. And if it was, I would appreciate if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.